All right, what's going on, guys? Stack back with another offensive scheme breakdown, and I actually uh, really, really love this scheme. Uh, I know I told you I love the running gun scheme, but uh, I started to mess around in some I form stuff um, just because the dollar defense is so, so good, and people are running a ton of defensive backs on the field, and I feel like I should be able to run the ball against that. Uh, logically, that should be the counter. So, um, went diving deep into some playbooks, came out uh, with the Saints playbook, the I-Form Close Flex. Um, in this video, I'm just going to break down basically the plays, the audibles. Um, we'll go into the actual full like play setup breakdown in other videos, but we're going to talk about the audibles. We're going to talk about substitutions, abilities. Um, this will be a real quick kind of intro video, and then we'll just jump into the, the meat and potatoes of everything in the next couple of videos. So. Um, why do I like this formation? Well, <clears throat> two reasons. Stretch, you can flip either way. Um, you also have a dive. You have uh, 95 Mike. This is very good. Um, and you've got two really good play action plays. PA tight end corner has that angle route that does really good against man coverage along with the tight end corner route. We've got compression on the left side. Um, we've got PA spot with the corner route from the slot. And what's good about the play action plays is the blocking, and we'll break down kind of pass protection um, in, in another video, but PA plays allow you to block a little bit better than normal plays, um, and there's a little tip to it. But um, the, the whole goal of this game really is to run the ball. Now, as far as personnel, what I like to use um, is in Mutt, I will put a slot apprentice at this position, and then I'll have a tight end apprentice. You don't necessarily have to. I just think it opens up the offense a little bit more. It allows you to be a little, more, a little bit more creative. Um, in the backfield, I put a tight end here. Now, you don't have to, um, but I've been tinkering with uh, putting the out-of-position Tremaine Edmonds at fullback. Um, and the reason that I do that is because he can get honorary linemen. Um, now, if you don't know, that ability will um, provide dominant blocking wins versus defensive backs. So when he gets a hold of a defensive back, it's either going to be a pancake or it's going to be a really solid win. Um, and it may or may not be worth the 2 AP. Still kind of going through the pros and cons of having a tight end there. Um, you could definitely do another halfback uh, with uh, maybe like the halfback apprentice uh, right here would be interesting because you can get a lot of angle routes and, and flat routes and stuff. Um, but for right now, I'm rocking the tight end at this position. Now, that's pretty much it for the basic uh, overview of the formation. Again, we're going to have our PA spot and our tight end corner. Our audibles will look like this. You'll replace um, mesh with PA tight end corner right here. And I actually like to have 95 mic and... Um, Excuse me, you don't have to put 95 mic there. I like that. You can you can leave the dive there. My apologies. 95 mic can go here and then PA side in corner. All right. Come out in the stretch play. Um, and then you have all pretty much all the runs you need um, available to you. Right. And then you have your two passing plays. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop into the next video where we're going to break down the runs and then we'll get into some of the passing plays.